Proton-1, a nanosatellite, disintegrates into the Earth's atmosphere after having orbited the Earth for more than two years. All satellites have an end, and this is how close satellites like CubeSat end their life. The satellite finally reaches the Earth's atmosphere and burns out of friction. The three nanosatellites of Bhutan, Malaysia, and Philippines, Bhutan 1, UHGMSAT 1, and Maya 1, started the journey on 29 June 2018 via the Falcon 9 rocket from Florida. Later on, on the 10th of August 2018, Bhutan, along with Malaysia and Philippines, deployed their first CubeSat from Japan's International Space Station called Kibo. 10, 9, 8, please focus. 8, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hey. Keep flying. Successful. Successful. Thank you very much. Since then, satellite has been orbiting the Earth 15 to 16 times a day at a velocity of 7.6 km per second and crossing Bhutan 3 to 4 times a day. The cube site is just 10 by 10 by 11 cm in dimension and just 1.33 kg in weight. The satellite was built for educational purpose with the help of Keishu Institute of Technology, Japan. It had cost around 280,000 USD for the entire process of building and launching the satellite. The satellite was launched at 400 km above the Earth's surface in 2018, but slowly it is approaching the Earth as it does not have altitude maintaining system. As of August 10, 2020, the satellite was 330 km above the Earth's surface. Finally, when it reaches 100 km above the Earth's surface, the boundary between Earth atmosphere and space, also called as Kerman's line, the satellite will start burning into ashes and finally disintegrate. Thanks for watching, and if you like the video, please do subscribe to our channel.